I'm going to give you a quick little introduction to services on System D. On a Linux machine, you have services that run in the background. So I have a server here, and the server is a web server. And the web server runs the httpd.service, which is actually the Apache web server. So if I wanted to know more about that service, I can type in system ctl status httpd. So currently, what you see here is that my service is active and running. But you also see up here, it says it is disabled. So then you might start asking yourself, what do these two things mean? What is active and what is disabled? How can it be disabled and active at the same time? Well, okay. What we have here is unloaded. You see this service, user live system D system HTTPD dot service. And it says it's disabled. And it says the vendor preset is disabled. What that means is that this is the script that starts up the service. The script is currently disabled, meaning that on boot time, it will not automatically load. The vendor preset means that when you install the package, it comes as disabled as a default. However, the service is currently running and it's been running for almost two days. So what does that mean? If I wanted to stop or start the service, I can use systemctl you stop HTTPD and I can start it again if I want as well. If I wanted to, I can even restart the service. Restarting will stop the service and then start it again. It's a little bit different from another option, reload. Reload will not usually restart the service, not really. What reload does is it usually sends a signal to the service telling the service that there are new configurations and some services can then reread those configurations and load those ones in there. They have multiple processes running. Uh, as you can see, there are multiple processes in this group. And when you do a reload, usually one of the processes still has root access and the other processes don't. So one of the root access will load up new process, new, new configurations and slowly let all the processes that are complete die off and replace them with new child processes that have the new configurations. Okay, so that is starting, stopping, re restarting, and reloading. So you get an idea of how that works. If I stop the service and then do a status, you can see that it says that it is stopping and starting, and it says it's inactive right here, it's dead. If I start the service again and do a status, you can see that it is active running. So what does disabling and enabling do? So if I enable the service, system with the system CTL enable HTTPD, then it creates a symbolic link. You can see the symbolic link is created in this directory right here, this directory, and it's pointing to that service the one we saw above. This service, user lib systemd system httpd dot service, that service start script now has a symbolic link from this directory right here. So the etc systemd system multi user dot target dot wants directory is the directory that lists all of the services that start if I'm in multi-user target wants, or if I'm multi-user user mode. So let's go take a look at the directory. Actually, let's do a directory listing. If I leave the directory, etc system d system multi multi-user wants. 
you'll see a list of services, but you'll actually see just a bunch of symbolic links. So when I enter this run level, this mode, it will then go through and execute these services. It will start starting them up and they'll all be loaded up. And that's pretty good. You get them all going, you're happy, you're good. Sometimes people run in GUI mode. So what would a GUI mode have? Well, that would be the graphical target wants directory. So in GUI mode, you'd see that these things would be running. Well, it'd probably be more than that. We don't have the graphical target wants. I'm being loaded because I'm not set up to run in graphical mode. All right. So if I disable it, what happens? If I disable it, it removes the symbolic link. And then the next time I reboot the system, it will not load this service automatically. If I wanted to check just to see if a service is enabled or disabled, I can do that too. I can do system CTL is enabled HTTPD and it will check and say it is disabled. If I re-enable the service and then check to see if it's enabled, it will say it's enabled. I can also check to see if it's active. This tells me whether it's running or not. If I stop the service, and check it again, you can see it is inactive. So that's how you can check for whether or not it's running or not running. And these things, the is enabled and is active, are great to be used in scripts when you're testing things. But normally, what you just do is use the status option there, because then you can get a little bit more information. You can see that it is currently enabled, because I've enabled it. And we can see that it is inactive and dead. If I rebooted my, my system, it would start up again, and it would load the Apache HTTP server. And that's how you can work with services, starting them, stopping them, restarting them, reloading them, enabling, disabling, and checking their status.